Hey guys, McSkillet here with another CSGO skins video and today I'm be going over some more different patterns on uh, two different skins for this video. Both of these skins have uh, randomly generated patterns and um, depending on what pattern it has it can make the skin look a lot better and um, a lot different. So um, I'm going to be going over all the different patterns for these two skins. They're both from my 5 underrated skins video and um, a lot of people were asking for me to go over the patterns for these so I've looked at pretty much all of the skins on the market and I've found different pattern templates for them to try to figure out all the different patterns you can get. Um, but starting off we've got the 5-7 neon kimono and um, for this skin you can I think the best pattern would be the one that has all neon on it. These, these are some examples of some of the bad patterns. This one is all white. This is probably the worst pattern I would say because um, it's kind of a bland looking skin for the price of this 5-7. Uh, and the best one is this one right here. I would expect this to be worth a good amount more than a normal 5.7 neon kimono because I only found three out of all the factory new and minimal wear ones I believe when I was looking on the market. And this definitely looks a lot better so I'm guessing the demand for this would be higher because the entire thing is the neon color. But here's an example of some other patterns that are um, common and um, probably not as nice as the number one I showed there. Uh, these ones have neon in the front and the back but then the rest of them are, are white. I've noticed you can't get a different color in the middle. Um, it's basically split into three different sections kind of like the 5.7 case hardened but um, it's a little bit, it's a lot simpler than the 5.7 case hardened and um, yeah you can either get this like greenish color or you can get the whitest color and here is another example of a number one pattern one that I could find on the market and all these were listed higher than the cheapest one on the market so um, yeah I guess they are worth more and I would expect people to want that a lot more than just a plain um, all white one. But next up we have the MP9 Pandora's Box and um, this is quite an interesting skin. This is probably my new favorite MP9 skin because um, I didn't really notice it until recently and it's actually really cool and um, I looked in the game files and I found the pattern template for all the different stuff you can get on it. There's a whole bunch of different little monsters, they all have different face facial expressions and um, I'm not exactly sure which one's the best. Uh, there was a guy on Reddit, I'll have a link to his uh, YouTube in the description, but he was looking for one uh, like the one right there because I believe it looks like the monster from Monsters Inc. And um, it's basically the happy monster as you can see on the middle of the gun. And um, this gun also has a lot of scratches if you don't get one with a low float value I've noticed. So, um, that's, another, that's one downside to this gun, but it's got a lot of different patterns. You can get monsters in all sorts of different locations, and um, there's tons of different monsters you can get. Um, and you can look at the pattern template here to see all the different ones um, that are possible to get on the gun. And I'm not exactly sure why this in the game files is the different colors than blue, but pretty much they're all are blue and purple, as you can see here. But um, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you want me to go over any other patterns, um, you can check the first three videos, and then if you haven't seen it there, feel free to let me know in the comments, and um, make sure to analyze those. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys, um, and I'm McSkillet, and I'm out.